I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about basic approaches to integration. In problem number 31, we'd like to evaluate the integral of t cubed minus 2 divided by t plus 1 dt. Alright, first thing I see here is I have a rational function inside the integral and that the power, the highest power of t on the top is greater than the highest power of t on the bottom, which means that I could use polynomial division to simplify this expression down. So let's do it. What I want to do is I want to divide t cubed minus 2. Let's divide that by t plus 1. Well, how many times does t go into t cubed? t squared times. So now let's multiply by t squared and I get t cubed and t times 1 is t squared. I want to subtract that. The t cubes cancel and I get minus t squared minus 2. I bring down the minus 2. How many times does t go into negative t squared? Well, minus t times. Minus t times t is minus t squared and minus t times 1 is minus t, and now I want to subtract all that. The t, negative t squareds cancel, and I get minus times minus is plus t minus 2. How many times does t go into t? Well, 1 time, so plus 1, and 1 times t is t, 1 times 1 is 1, and now I subtract that, the t's cancel, and minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Okay, so this is my remainder. So now how do I rewrite this integral? I can rewrite it as, well it went in evenly, t plus 1 went evenly into t cubed minus 2, t squared minus t plus 1 times. And then there was a remainder of minus 3, and I need to divide that by t plus 1. All right, all of that dt. Okay, let's take antiderivatives here. Antiderivative of t squared is 1 third t cubed. Antiderivative of negative t is negative 1 half t squared. Antiderivative of 1 is t, and now the antiderivative of negative 3 over t plus 1, what's the derivative of the bottom? 1. So if I just move the minus 3 over to the side, I have minus 3 ln of absolute value of t plus 1 plus a constant. And we have our antiderivative.